All right, I wanted to film this video for you to help making pulling in and ease. So you'll see, and I'll send you a screenshot of this. This driveway comes straight in. If you take a left on the split as you're coming in, you'll go to kind of our side of the property, our, our house, to so stay right to go to the barn. You'll come down this gravel drive. This is especially helpful to see in the daytime if you happen to arrive at night. Um, you will pull in in front on this asphalt um, in front of the barn and stop. In that barn, there are four stalls that you can use. Um, sometimes groups, you know, bring more than four. So it, uh, but there are four in there. And I hope your horses are okay with chickens because the chickens are around. So um, feel free to use any of these stalls that you would like or put the horses next to each other that need, that may need to be near one another. So you got three stalls on the right side that you could use one stall on the left side. This water hose, I need to tell you, you have to go out this back door here and go to the left. And I'm not gonna be able to get too far. I don't have the right boots on, but right where that horse is standing, you'll see the, the water. Um, so that's where you turn on that water hose. And it's a bit of a two-man job because it's going to start flowing as soon as you turn it on. So make sure you have somebody that can help you with that. So that's the barn and the water. There's hooks in each stall where you can hang water buckets. And then you'll be pulled up in here. Then you'll want to back this way. So you will back. And if you happen to be two different vehicles traveling together, you'd want the first one to back in like my truck is here. It won't be in your way when you get here. Over on that side of the lot, so the, uh, the second vehicle will have room to back into this side of the lot. And then both sets of RV hookups, water and electric, are here on this back corner. So whoever is like where my truck is, is going to have, um, you know, need to have an extension cord or something. But this rainy time of year, it's really hard not to turn the front of your vehicle. It's quite okay. You can see other people have done it. It's understandable. And just do the best you can when you leave to try to stay on the gravel road getting out.